you turn on the television right now or you go on Google News or Yahoo, man, it would seem that the world is just horrible and that everyone hates each other and we're all against one another. And your enemy is, you know, if you're one party, it's the other party. If you're white, if your enemy is black or brown, if you're, you know, if you're gay, your enemy is straight or vice versa. It's just a terrible culture we have right now of hating one another. And so I think your life can be a mini ministry just by being kind, just by being gentle and generous and elegant with people. And so just reminding people all the time, there's good people in the world. I'll give you one more example. It's silly. I was at the gym last week. There's a lady at the gym that a beautiful older lady, I'd put her in her seventies and she's actually in a walker around wow. the gym. Right. And, uh, but she just had, you know what I mean when I say this, everybody will nod, just has one of those faces, you just, she's just good. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, you just, she just, I don't have one of those faces. Like, I'm an acquired <laughs> taste. Yeah. Like, you look at Same me, here. you're like, I ain't too sure. Yeah. You, you gotta be around me, man. But like, there's some people just like, yo, she's good, you know? And she was kind of walking around in her walk, but she was walking towards me. She had no idea who I was, no clue whatsoever. And she said, can I just tell you, I thought it was the coolest thing for a woman in her 70s to say to me. I said, sure. She goes, I just think your tattoos are spectacular. And I'm like, thank you, because I have some tats, you know. I said, well, thank you so much. She goes, no, I really mean it. I've seen you here before, and you're such a nice man. You're so kind to everybody. And I just think your tattoos are beautiful. All she did, and that was it. I said, well, thank you. And she walked away. I just thought, ah, there's good people in the world. She was just being sweet. She clearly wasn't hitting on me, right? Yeah. Oh, maybe she was. She was just spreading goodness. (laughs) You know what I mean? She's just spreading goodness. And so we all can be that way and it's not hokey. And I think when people in business, since we're talking business here too, people sense intent and influence is energy way more than it is words. And so if people sense great intentions from you to serve them, to contribute, to make a difference, right? Honestly, right? They have to sense your goodness. And so, and to me, that's God. And so I'm always conscious of trying to spread goodness. Like it seems so basic and I don't do it all the time either. I promise you, if you've cut me off on the road once or twice and you recognize my face, you might say you weren't spreading goodness on that response, right? So believe me, I make mistakes, but in business, energy transfer is important. And remember this, no matter what it is you're trying to do to influence somebody, you can't transfer to me that which you're not experiencing yourself. Yeah. It'll never be real. So you have to be experiencing intensity if you want to transfer, experiencing passion if you want to transfer, experiencing certainty if you want to transfer it, experiencing goodness if you want to transfer it. People say to me all the time, like, especially those of you that are in sales that are listening to this or any business where you have to persuade, you spend way too much time trying to convince people that what you're saying is true and that you're right. And people say, that's crazy. What do you mean? Of course, if they don't believe I'm right or I'm not truthful or my product's not better, they'll never buy from me. Absolutely false. The level of threshold for influence is not that people believe what you're saying. Isn't that crazy? The threshold level is do they believe you believe what you're saying? Ah. That's a subtle distinction that all great – I'm like when I'm on stage and I'm speaking, I'm not trying to convince you of what I'm saying to be true. All I'm right. trying to convince you that I believe it's true. You know it's true so, already. I know it's true. And so think this through, everybody. First, it's a, it's easier And number two, it's not needy. It doesn't come off as if you need them. It doesn't come off as if you've got something to get out of it. Try to start to focus on transferring energy to people if you're going to persuade them and focus specifically on. To hear the rest of this episode, scroll back to episode 35 entitled Ed Milet, Courage, Faith, Unity. What you haven't heard about Ed Milet. Ed Milet has been a business leader, peak performance expert, and a well known keynote speaker in the business world. He shared the stage with other business legends, including Tony Robbins, John C. Maxwell, Phil Knight, and many others. Key points from this particular interview one, serve, help, contribute. Ed spent the first part of his life creating the life he has now. Two, humility and grace. Ed's faith is very important to him hear how and why. Three, believe. Many people who may appear very successful and happy, in fact, are depressed. Not believing that there is any meaning to being here beyond acquiring things can be a very empty existence. Four, experience it to transfer it. Five, plant seeds. You have to have faith that God is going to provide a harvest and you cannot control the harvest, but plant seeds. Six, how do you handle building business relationships as a man of faith? There's a lot more to this interview, but if any of those key points resonated with you, 
don't miss this interview with Ed Milet. Again, it's episode 35. Until Friday, Godspeed and live wide open. Congratulations on making it to the end of this episode. What about this episode stood out to you? Next, I need your help sharing this show. I want this podcast to impact and reach 6,000 people per episode by August 31st, 2019. And I want us to reach 15,000 people per month by March 29th, 2020. Have you been enjoying multiple episodes of The Hard Healthy Hustle? I'm thrilled to share with you an exclusive invitation to join our new Facebook community. To get to know other Heart Healthy Hustlers, simply go to thehearthealthyhustle.com forward slash Facebook, where you can expect to see different members of our community being featured weekly in Facebook Live calls. I appreciate all of your love and support, and I will see you in the next episode. As always, be generous on every occasion. There is a story for you, and live wide open.